Hello artists! This video will show you how to draw realistic candy corn using chalk pastels. The first thing that we'll need is a piece of paper, a box of chalk pastels, a clean tissue, and a cotton swab. I will also need a regular pencil for the first part of our drawing. When I observe a piece of candy corn, it is a triangle shape, but the edges, the corners, are all curved, and the sides also have a slight curve to them. I'm going to be creating three large candy corns on my paper. To show space and depth, I will be using overlapping. By doing this, I will make my picture more interesting. As I draw my second shape, you'll see that when it comes in contact with the first shape that I've drawn, I make my pencil stop. And this shape now appears to be behind the first shape. I will continue that with my third piece of candy corn. As you're drawing with pencil, remember that our candy corn is divided into three sections. We don't want straight lines to flatten out our dimensional candy corn. We want these lines to be curved to create the illusion that this candy corn is taking up space. Now it's time to use the chalk pastels. I'll start with orange and I'm going to be coloring in the middle part of each of the candy corns. I don't want to press down hard. I want to cover in those spaces and there's going to be a lot of chalk dust on your paper. It is important that you do not blow this chalk dust away. We need it, but it's also not very healthy to breathe in. You'll find that you don't need to use a lot of pressure to color with the chalk pastels. And don't worry if you can see some of the paper showing through. We will be using some blending techniques throughout this project that will take care of all of that. Next, I will move on to a piece of yellow chalk, and I'm going to color the bottom section of each of the candy corns. Remember, there's no need to press down hard. You will get a lot of bright color from just coloring normally. To finish adding our base colors of our candy corn, I need a white chalk to color the top. Now comes my favorite part, adding interest and dimension using color. I'm going to choose a red-orange and I'm going to add some of that dark red orange to only one side of the orange part of my candy corn. This is going to be the shadow side. So I want the bottom of the candy corn or to one side of the candy corn to have this red orange color. Notice that I've only put it in the orange center. Next, I'll choose a red violet to make a darker shadow. Notice I'm using far less. I'm only coloring at the very edge of the candy corn. I'm going to wrap my pointer finger inside of my tissue and gently blend and rub the orange inside of my candy corn. 
If I press too hard, it will act as an eraser, and I don't want that. I simply want to soften the colors. Notice that in some areas, I'm just simply patting the chalk dust into the paper instead of brushing or rubbing. This will make our candy corn look smooth and blended as if it was the real thing. Next, I'll blend my yellow and then my white, each time using a clean part of my tissue. Now let's use our cotton swab for those little details. This acts like the tissue, but much smaller and you have more control. I'm gently blending in that red-violet and red-orange color and I'm brushing it toward the center gently and delicately. And now that I have that nice red-orange on the tip of my cotton swab, I'm going to use it as part of the shadow in the yellow area of the candy corn. I'm just simply brushing gently and blending it into the yellow. Be sure to only do the side where our shadow is. We need more contrast and some darker shadows. I'm going to use this light blue and add a small amount on the shadow side on the white portion of my candy corn. And then using the clean side of my cotton swab, I'm going to gently rub that blue in. You can see here that I went back to the red-violet color and added a bit more, this time a small, small amount in the yellow area to make a deeper shadow. By this point, you will have a lot of chalk dust piled up on your work, just like I do. Don't worry, we will take care of that in just a moment. Next, we're going to use a very small amount of black chalk. I do want to caution you to very lightly draw with this chalk and use it sparingly. A small amount will go a very long way. Black chalk is unforgiving and can dirty up a picture very quickly and very easily. Using my cotton swab, I'm going to gently rub in the black chalk to make it softer and to look more like a shadow. Another great way to use shadow is by using a complementary color or an opposite color. The opposite of orange is blue, so if I use this blue color and add just a small amount over where I added the black and brush that in, it will create a much more complementary shadow to my candy corn. To get rid of the extra chalk dust, carefully take your work to a trash can and gently shake it so that the dust falls in the trash can and not in the air. Finally, you can get rid of any dirty spots on your paper by pressing hard with the tissue wrapped around your pointer finger. It will act a little bit like an eraser. <laughs> 